Hey guys, welcome to the brand new bot shop. I'm just gonna show you very, very quickly now how you can set up the new bot. So this is it. And the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is sort out the strategy. Now what you need to do, what you need to do is go up here to the trading signals and have a look through some of the signals here in the signals tracker and decide for yourself which one it is that you feel is going to be best for you. So a lot of people last year were following this one here, Master Signals 3.0. I was following this one here, Regular Stability Overload. There are now some new ones if you are a Muck Club holder down here, CMMC ones. So we've got a uh, CMMC Binance. This one you cannot actually follow because this is really just for our tracking purposes to see is this strategy actually we're following. So we're tracking everything here. We're tracking Bitcoin pairs, Ethereum pairs, USDT pairs, all bundled up into this one. So we can see as a whole, is the strategy actually working? You know, does it actually make money? And then we separated it out there. So if you do want to follow it and you want to use Bitcoin, then obviously click here on the Bitcoin one. You can see that's up 52% in the last 53 days. And also the hot shots have recently changed this. It was only up a little bit compared to the uh, MCN 50. So I've changed it now. It's now up 35% in the last uh, 59 days. That's looking a lot, lot better now. And if we click on that, we come here, we can see a little bit more detail. We can see that this is tracking 50 assets. So when you go on to actually trade your strategy, you also get to pick which assets you want to trade and you can trade up to 50. In this one, you got 50 assets that you can actually track. So that's basically gonna be every single one of them. However, let's just say that you wanna track something with more than 50. So say here we got CMMC uh, USDT. We click on that one and we can see this actually tracks 380 different assets. Now you cannot follow all 380, but what you can do is just track the best 50 coins in that bunch. And that basically, guys, is pretty easy. Just go over to TradingView just once a week, maybe once a month, however often you feel that you've got the time for. Go through the charts, see which ones are just starting out on a nice upward trend, and just pick those 50. So back here, guys, in the uh, the bot shop here, you get to pick the strategy, pick whatever you want. As you can see here, I don't have all them strategies in here. That is because uh, I haven't actually got a Mutt NFT right now. So if you just click the little cock up here, it's gonna take you over to the Mutt Club. And here in the Mutt Club, you can see I've got no Mutt. What I need to do is actually update my wallet address. So I'm already logged in right now with MetaMask and you see my wallet address appears right there. And then I can click this again and all of my uh, all of my NFTs, they all pop up right here. So I can just select whichever one, one that I want. So here I've got Spike here and I'm now a Mutt Club member. Now, if you're not already a member of the Mutt Club, what you can do is either head over here uh, to OpenSea account and hopefully there's gonna be one for sale, which right now nobody is selling their Mutt. So there's no Mutts currently for sale. So your only other option is to head here instead, which is the mint.mutru.com. Uh, ninja and you can mint one mutt instead. Apologies if I'm racing through this. I just want to get through as quickly as I possibly can. Always ask me questions over on Discord if you do have any further questions or just general members in the community are very likely to respond if I'm not available. So right here back in the bot shop we've now got our mutt set up now which means we can now pick more different uh, strategies here. We can pick the master signals. I'm going to go with the MCN hot shots and I'm not saying that you should go with the MCN hotshots. I'm saying I am personally trying it out, okay? So don't, you know, six months from now, get back to me on YouTube saying that you also picked that and now you've lost money and whatever, okay? You just go with what you wanna go with. So next, if you click the settings, you can scroll down here to the build guide, download the build guide, uh, and that will just run through you all the steps that we're going to do right now in this video. All we need to do basically set up the Vulture server. Nothing technical here, guys, at all. You just copy and paste this code here into Vulture during the setup. You're going to see that in just a moment. Sort out your API keys there on uh, Binance. Stick it all into this form right here. And then your bot is pretty much all set up. That is it. Easy peasy. If you don't already have a Vulture account set up, I'll leave a link down below this video. 
just click on that and uh, get yourself set up. It's very, very cheap. It's not going to cost you much at all. That is why we chose it for you guys. So over here in your products, this is all of the servers that you have running. Just click the little blue button and you go to deploy new server. Just take a click on that. And we don't want this high frequency one. We don't need high frequency trade in here. Just cloud compute. That's going to be the cheapest possible option. Uh, just pick any which is closest to you. For me, that'd probably be London. You might pick Germany. It really doesn't matter all that much. Uh, as you scroll down, this is a very important point. You don't want to click on Ubuntu, okay, or any of these that you can see here. Click on this here, Marketplace Apps. Don't forget to do that because you need this one here. This is called LAMP which is basically Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. That is what you need. And then you click Ubuntu 20. So there you go, LAMP Ubuntu 20. Scroll down, click on the five, $5 per month, not $10, $5 per month, and scroll down. And right here, you can see I've already added in my startup script. What you want to do is add in new, and you can call it anything you want. So right there, up in name, call it whatever name that you want to call it. And then over here in the docs, just scroll down through the docs and you're going to find all the code that you need to put in. So this is this page right here, the startup script, and just copy all of this in the box, copy all of that and just paste it in right here and then click add script. And that is it. So back here now, you should have a script added there. So you just click on that script. You can see the little blue check mark there as soon as you've done that. And then you want to give it a name. So you could call it like Cyber Mutts or something similar like that, Cyber Bot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, right down here at the bottom, you can see that's going to be $5 per month. You can just deploy right now, hit that, and it'll just set up. There you go. That's it installing. Give it about five, 10 minutes. Go make yourself a cup of tea and come back. In fact, don't go away too long, make yourself a cup of tea because there is something else important that you need to do. You need to head over here to Binance and just click on this bit here, your profile part, and go down here to API management. Click on API management and you're going to want to set up a new API for your bot. You can call it anything you want. So right up here, see I've already got one put in there called CMMC. I'm just going to call this one bot shop just for fun. Create the API. From here, be sure to copy down both your API key and your secret key. You can copy this one right here if you want to, because I'm not going to be using it. I'll be deleting it straight after this. So uh, <laughs> don't. now on here, be sure to click this one here. So enable your spot margin trading. You're going to need to edit this. The, uh, edit restrictions right here, enable spot and margin trading because we're going to be doing spot trading on these. And what you want to do as well is restrict access to trusted IPs. And you're going to need the IP address of the bot that you just set up there on Vulture and put that into here. This is the IP address, copy that and put that over here into Binance. Just paste that in 80 blah, 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 21. Okay. Confirm that. That is the IP address confirmed. Save it and it is done and now we know just what the ip address is of your uh your new bot that you're setting up you can now head back over into the bot shop scroll down in the settings part there and you'll find the enter your ip address for the bot you can just enter it right there click generate new tracking chip and uh, just wait a moment there we go that new one has been updated now click on settings and now you can copy this so with that copied, we've got the tracking chip, we've got the API key and the secret for buy now. So we are pretty much all set to go. So now if you just click on the link here for the IP address of your bot, you'll find yourself right here and you can paste in the, uh, the tracking chip. Also put in the API key and the secret that you would copy down earlier. I didn't actually copy it down. So I'm just going to write in any old nonsense and then hit submit and now, what this should do is take you to this page right here, and this says version 1.00, so this is the latest version, this is the new one. This means that your bot is now all set up and ready to go. It is that easy. No weird stuff in terminal this time, nothing hard to do. And if you want to track your trades anytime you want to see what is going on, all you need to do is click here on recent trades. Right now there's nothing because nothing has gone through. And this page will just give you a summary each day of all the trades that your bot has done in the last 24 hours.
fast forward <laughs> just an hour or so and you can see this right here so you can see now we've got our bitcoin you can sort of track all the coins which are being traded on the strategy that you've chosen and you can also keep track of any errors that may be happening with your bot so if you do see any error messages come up here please do head on over to the discord group scroll down to the errors there we go we've got the trading bot error section where you can just paste in there all of your errors to let us know what is going wrong but wait there there is some more important things that you need to bear in mind that we did kind of rush through that a little bit so right over here on the bot shop underneath your tracking id you can see that we have also got the preferred currency and some of those strategies that we were looking at earlier were sort of specific to like busd or usdt or bitcoin what you could find is if you're following one of those but you're actually trading in Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever the case may be, your results may not be the same as what you see in there in the tracker. So do make sure that you're following in the right currency or at least the one that you intend to be trading in. And because uh, it doesn't matter, maybe you are following a Bitcoin uh, trading strategy and you want to follow it in, in Ethereum. Uh, it may actually turn out better for you. So you don't know, it's all about testing. And if we scroll down here, so that's the custom cryptos now, you can actually choose which ones that you want. And if you were to change the strategy, you may find that actually you're not following any. So right now we're on the Master Signals 3.0. If I wanna change that now over to the Hot Shots, press set. And right now we should find, if I go over here to the settings, that yes, absolutely none are picked. So every single time that you change the strategy, because we're not following these same 50 coins like we were before in the old system, now every single strategy may have completely different pairs, which means that basically your custom crypto list will get deleted every single time you update, and you're gonna have to manually go in and pick whichever 50 coins that you want. So this actual strategy does only have 50 coins, so I could, if I wanted, just select all of them. But if you wanna be a little bit smarter, then you're gonna take five or 10 minutes just to go over to TradingView and click through each of the charts and make sure that you're uh, trading only the coins, which kind of like they're in a low zone right now, and they look like they could be going up. You don't want to be following coins which have already peaked, they've already gone to the moon, and they're heading back down. That's it, guys. Any questions, just head over to the Discord group. That's where you're going to find me. That's where you're going to find all the other admins and all the rest of the team. And welcome to the community. Come and be part of it. And I'll see you all again in the next video.